On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be taking a look at the Compact 92 SMG, which has an insane fire rate of 1,176 rounds per minute. And with these gobble gums and these augments, we're going to unlock its full potential. So let's go test it out. If you're new to our Pimp My Gun series, basically what we do is we find weapons that aren't very widely used or talked about and try to unlock their maximum potential. This is a series that started back in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies with us taking weapons and using MAGA holding on them and turning weapons that weren't the greatest into something that was usable. But it doesn't always have to be a bad weapon made better. This could be a good weapon made even better. And today here we're using the Compact 92 SMG and this weapon really caught my eye with its fire rate. because as you can tell, this thing shoots pretty fast. There's not a single weapon in this game that shoots as fast as this. The only thing that comes close is the new SOG SMG, and this still beats it by about 100 rounds per minute. So our goal today is try to push this weapon to its limits and see how far of a round we can get to with it, because not only do we want this weapon to be shooting as fast as possible, but we also want it to be doing as much damage as possible. So I try to even it out in the build here and with our augments so we can get a nice balance of the two. But the main thing I really want to get out of this gobble gum machine is our free fire gobble gum. And there it is. Speak of the devil. Now I'm going to hold off on using that for now because I'm almost positive once this thing is pack a punch that the fire rate increases even more after that. So you can probably already tell that running out of ammo is going to be a little bit of an issue for this weapon. So the gobble gums that I brought in today are here to mitigate that. But as you can see, prior to pack a punching, we have 60 rounds in our mag and 330 in reserve, which isn't the greatest amount, but I think we will get a big boost after pack a punching. And that's where our free fire gobble gum is gonna come in handy as well as our max ammo gobble gum. Oh, and there's our max ammo gobble gum. Damn, I just gotta talk about whatever one I want and I get it. Now, if you don't have all the gobble gums to help with your ammo management, that's all right. One thing that I would really recommend you get to deal with the ammo here is melee macchiato and the augment that refills ammo in your magazine. So you can see I have 45 rounds in my mag right now and I go to punch a zombie, I'm at 51. Now this isn't the greatest way to be able to get ammo back for your weapon, but it does help out a little bit. And hopefully it can hold you over until you get lucky enough to get some of those gobble gums from drops. Now, before we go ahead and pack a punch this, I'm just gonna hold down on this so you can see the rate of fire here. And after it's pack a punch, we'll do the same thing and we'll put it side by side so we can see if it actually does get faster after pack a punch. And all right, compact let's see how this is doing after pack a punch so we go from 60 bullets in the mag to 120 and now we have 540 bullets in reserve and we got a mangler here that wants to try out firsthand this insane fire rate so let's go ahead and light them up night night buddy and we'll take all your friends out with you uh-oh Gotta reload, keep it moving. Now, normally in situations like that, if we were on any higher of a round, I probably would have went ahead and popped my frenzied guard because not only will that give us armor and allow us to only take damage from our armor, our health will be completely fine. So we're basically invincible as long as we got an armor plate in. But with our frenzied fire augment, we can shoot from our stock without having to reload at all. So let me just show you guys how that works just in case you haven't seen it. We can just constantly sit here and shoot to our heart's content without ever having to worry about reloading. And now that we're pack a punch, let's go ahead and see our fire rate on the wall here. Oh, recoil went straight up into the air. And now let's put it side by side and see if it's any faster with pack a punch. But another reason why we waited all the way until round 10 to make our way over to the church, just in case you don't know, there's a nice little floating head Easter egg here. Or if you just throw an explosive up at it, some zombies will drop from the sky. And at the end of it, we get an Aether Tool. And if you wait until round 10, you're guaranteed a rare Aether Tool. So we can save a good bit of salvage here. Give me that. So we can take all the scrap that we saved, bring it on over to here, and get this all the way up to Epic tier already. And I'm going to go ahead and throw Cryo Freeze on here. Because although our weapon's shooting fast, I want these zombies to be walking slow. Because we have a few augments on here where if we kill a frozen zombie... They should leave a nice little cloud of frost. Uh-oh. And if a zombie walks into it, we should be able to slow the rest down. And it helps us really set up and stay safer while we're using this weapon. Now let's go ahead and frenzied and just take this entire round of zombies out. Absolutely mow them all down. Now let's see if we can be accurate enough to do our dead shot Easter egg over here and get these cans. Let's just try to line up our laser. And we already whiffed. 
I put it on single fire mode and I still can't hit it. There's no way these are whiffing. All right, whatever. We'll work on getting dead shot later. Because we got an abomination that wants to try to take us on. Hold on, buddy. I'm going to go get pack two and then we can talk. There we go. And you know what, abomination, just for you, let's go ahead and pop our free fire. So we can use unlimited amounts of ammo on you. I'm not even going to stop shooting. We'll just completely light all these zombies up and effortlessly take out this entire round. Yeah, shoot a laser. Not even going to give you the chance to open up that mouth. You're done. Night, night, buddy. Free fire is such a sick gobble gum, dude. I should probably work on getting the rest of our perks here because shooting fast and everything's fine, but we also want to be able to survive. And let's refresh our gobble gum. Another free fire, please. Thank you. Oh, no, it's soda fountain. That works. Oh, and look at that. We got our tequila sunrise camo. I feel like getting this thing to Mystic Gold is going to be a breeze. Let's grab some stamina up. That way we can run about as fast as we shoot. Let's pop our soda fountain and we'll grab PhD. That way we can throw some nades at our feet and get our elemental pop. Now all we're missing is dead shot. All right, I'm going to take one more shot at getting dead shot from these cans. But if we can't get it, I'll we'll have to wait till round 25. Or maybe we'll get it from uh, a Sam trial. It does not look like it's happening. Nope. Damn it. Sometimes I nail every single shot, even with an SMG. Other times, I just whiff it for round after round. And then we're on round 25 before we know it. Maybe we can get it from this. Oh, PhD flopper. Let's train these bad boys up. Let's throw a quick shock stick. And this should be easy as long as I can get on this roof. Nope. Oh, wait. No, we got it all in one jump. Let's go. We got it. Oh, nice. That was lucky. And since we got a full power here, I'm going to go ahead and change my field upgrade to Aether Shroud. And we're going to use that to get to a nice little grind spot. That way we can sit there and build up our points until we can get up to pack three. And we also got enough salvage to go ahead and get this up to legendary. But the grind spot I'm talking about is right over here on the roof. There's a spot over on top of the yummy freeze or whatever the hell the ice cream shop is called. That you can normally break this barrier down and go to, but you don't need to break the barrier to make it there. All you gotta do is pull out your melee weapon, and you can do this without Aether Shroud, but I'm using it just in case I mess up the jump. But you gotta buy this zip line. Uh, we should probably clear out some of these zombies before we attempt this. Hold on. Abomination, get out of here. All you guys can get out of here, actually. All right, now that that's over with, we can make our way over to here. I like to start from this corner, and then we run through this and immediately strafe to the right, and we can make it right on over here without Aether Shroud. But if you do think you're going to be a little bit short on that jump, just go ahead and pop your Aether Shroud and it should boost you over if you have the dash augment and you should be able to make it here. This makes it so all the zombies have to come up from right here only. But this is where that melee macchiato augment is going to really come in handy because we're going to be able to replenish our ammo from just beating these zombies to death. But we can also go ahead and use this gobble gum here. And our mangler should also be able to bring us some ammo when we need it. If they want to drop some. Sometimes they're assholes and they don't drop anything. And now that you're in this spot, you can switch back to Frenzied if you want, but it's probably safer to keep Aether Shroud just in case you do run out of ammo or you just get overwhelmed. It's just a nice, easy way to get out of here without really taking too much damage. But again, I will warn you towards the end of the round, it gets pretty slow right here because the zombies that are climbing up here that you don't end up taking out are going to have to despawn and spawn back down over here. So this spot's probably the most useful with Rampage Inducer enabled. What we got for this trial? Oh, hip fire kills? Easy. I'm just going to need a little bit of ammo. I mean, that, how much is it? Oh, 2,500. That's not bad at all. We'll be able to fly right through this. We're actually just decimating all these zombies. This thing is a monster until I got to reload. Sit down, Mangler. We don't need none of your attitude. And we got enough money to get pack a punch three. So let's pick that up. And now this weapon is at its full potential legendary and pack three. And if you don't really like the jump spot, making your way over to the roof of the yummy freeze, you can go ahead and just open up this door here. And we have another use for it. Now you can just come on down here to the counter in the bank, which is a pretty nice spot for getting critical kills. The zombies are going to have to climb up onto the counter to get to you. And you can just sit here and shoot forward, knock them all out. 
But say you get overwhelmed or say you're about to go down, you're out of ammo, whatever. You can just aether shot forward and now you're back onto the roof like nothing happened. Us opening up that door made it so we can aether shroud through this wall. I don't think we can go back through it or go through it at all without that door being open. But with our other aether shroud augment where we have multiple charges, we can just go right on back into the bank with it if we really need to. And now that the door is open, the spawns down here are going to be way faster and this is probably more optimal for grinding but it's just a, a cool little spot you can get to without opening that door. And now we're on to the big boy rounds, round 25, where the difficulty starts to ramp up a bit. So let's go ahead and grab tier three armor and let's head back to our grinding spot. Oh, and here comes an abomination. We can really test this thing out. Let's pop our stock option. Let's try to light them up from here while we're also managing these zombies. So far, so good. It's absolutely melting the zombies like it's nothing. Oh, and look at our abomination trying to climb up here. He wants to play along. Oh, and let's go. We got our Void Thorn camo. So now we should be on to our Mystic Gold challenge with this gun. And abomination, I'm going to need you to go down so I can get some ammo from you, buddy. No? Okay, let me um, enter the vault combination. Act like there's nothing going on here. You're not seeing anything. I'm going to go ahead and just guess the combo real quick because that's just how we do. And that should be it. Oh, imagine. But that scared him away a little bit. They respected us trying to put in the combination. Where's that abomination at? There he is. We took out one of his heads. About to be another. See you later. And the final. Night, night, dude. This thing actually, actually absolutely tears. I just want to make sure that this works. So we can Aether Shroud from all the way back here up onto the roof. Oh, no. We actually need to take a step forward. So we got to stand probably about halfway. I try to force through the horde of zombies halfway like that. You can make it on up to here. We'll pop our arsenal accelerator. Ooh, and our clouds of mist are coming in here, slowing the zombies down. They're not getting near touching us. And we got a little bit of time to reload too. Beautiful. It's just way too easy. Give me that. And now we're out of ammo. Okay, maybe it's not that easy. Okay. All right, zombies. Relax. I'm out of here. Give me another gobble gum, please. What is this? Stock option, bet. Also buy us some more ammo. It's 5,000 to buy ammo back for this. A little, a little steep, but near round 26, money should not be that big of a problem. Especially if we're only really working on one weapon here. But I really wanted to see if I can Aether Shroud back into the building. Ooh, not looking like it. Damn, it took down that mangler fast. Absolutely folded them too. Time to switch back to the superior field upgrade. Frenzy guard. Actually, you know what? I'm going to healing aura real quick because I am very close to getting the final badge for that. Oh, and there's mystic gold. Beautiful. We didn't even have to try for it. It just kills things so fast didn't even have to focus on getting kills rapidly. And we finally got our healing aura ready, so let's go ahead and get our last field upgrade mastery badge. Oh, of course, there's a nuke. Can we still get it, though? Please? I really just want that calling card. It looks sick. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How close are we? We're 44 kills away. This gun is so satisfying with insta-kill. It's just look in whatever direction, and everything's dead within seconds. Maybe I should probably tap fire with it, though, because <laughs> I am burning ammo. All right, now we should definitely get our badge right here. There's no way we don't. Come on. Let's just get this over with so I can switch back to Frenzied, please. Do we still not have it? Is Healing Aura this ass? How far off are we? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh, damn. That's not very nice. That's our first down of the day. I am putting us in danger with this Healing Aura. I thought it'd be quick. I thought we'd already have our... our <laughs> our badge for it but no the game wants to be difficult you know what i can be difficult right back i'm gonna make y'all dance see if i care what's going on gertrude doing your thing there we go all right zombies no hitting me onto the bus and i can just focus on taking the abomination out which should be pretty easy there we go oh and they got me a self revive awesome after i already bought one and goodbye to the rest of you Let's use this, your cash back. Gimme, I'll use my stock option as well. And we have our healing aura. So let's use it. Can we survive this? Not really, no, damn it. I'm a genius, dude. Okay, 
I'm done. Enough with using healing aura. Oh, we're so close to getting it. I'll get that. I'll get that another time. Give me this. We gotta. We gotta be serious for a second. I actually take these guys out. And we should also go see if that self revive is still there. Because those things ain't cheap. Tell you what. And it is not. A key is still here though. Awesome. That's useful. Joe, you can actually just use the key that you have and go get a self revive. You are so right. Alright, I guess I'll open the vault. 31, 44, 3. Anything useful? Cashmere. I'll take it. And you know what? Maybe we take a little sabbatical and we uh, go bowling real quick, you know? Take a nice little break, a little vacation. All right, Mr. Peaks, you think you can help us out here? You know, help us get back on our feet? Some perks, a self-revive, you know, whatever. I'll take any. I'll also earn it too. I'm a world-class bowler. We take nothing less than three zombies per at bat. Okay, maybe one less than that. But nothing less than a 300, I'll tell you what. Oh, come on. No way we're throwing at the end here. Back-to-back -back gutters. Come on. We need a triple. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Got it. Like I said, no less than a 300. All right, Mr. Peaks, please help me out here. I never ask you for nothing. What we got? Oh, stamina up and a ray gun. And we got a legendary key. Let's go use that before we buy our last perks back. Just in case we get one of our perks from in here. Nope. Another ray gun though. We'll take that. I'll also be taking that and that. Now let's get elemental back. And now that we are getting into a pretty late of a round for still using a bullet weapon, I'm going to grab napalm. That should help us deal with our manglers and abominations a bit better. All right, now we're fully set back up. Time to play for real. Let's use our free fire and get to cooking. Looks like it can still take zombies out pretty well at this round. That insta-kill, though, would be very useful. Nade, go! Oh, right back up. Love that quick revive augment. Use this. Throw another decoy. And maybe our cashmere. Yeah, it's getting pretty rough out here on round 36. But it's still doing damage. All right, now we can go back to trying to survive. Jug augments crazy. Nice little stun on him. Semtex could do us some good. A little breathing room. And now we do another mutant injector. Holy shit. I don't think many guns besides something that explodes can do much at this round, but at least we're dealing with some zombies. God damn. Let's see if we can survive till next exfil. I'm just going to have to accept defeat on the camping strat and start training around a bit and using these traps. That actually worked flawlessly. We got so many kills in that one trap. I will find a way, though, one of these days to continue to camp. I will turn this into Cold War if I have to. And now, take a look at how much damage we're doing here on round 39. It's still doing all right. Obviously, it's fallen off quite a bit, but a whole lot of bullet weapons here at this high of a round aren't going to do a whole lot. I hope at some point that we get double tap or some other way to make our non-wonder weapons do a bit better on a round like this. That way we're not always just using like Mustangs and Sallies and wonder weapons for every high round attempt and spamming score streaks. Because I think it's more fun when there is uh, more variety to what you can use on a higher round. And this should close out round 40. Oh, a mutant injector. I already got one. Appreciate the offer, Mangler. I'm gonna be getting out of here. Let's see if we can survive the x -fell. So let's just start out with a mutant injector so we can take care of this abomination. Get him out of the way. Or at least get some good damage on him. I'm going to need you to get out of here, sir. Bye-bye. We still got so much time on this mutant injector. You know what? That seems unfair. Let's hop out of it. But frenzy guard time. It's only right that we finish off this x -fill with our compact. I'm out of here. Not a bad game. I went down a few times to some dumbassery. You know, I got a little greedy trying to go for some badges. But overall, the gun worked pretty good. We made it this far into the game, you know, with a little bit of help from some score streaks. But it didn't do too bad. 42 rounds or 41 rounds over 2,000 kills, 1,000 crits. Ain't terrible. But that's a wrap on the Compact 92. Let me know what you guys think of it, if there's anything I could do to improve it, or if you have any weapons with some gobble gums or augment combinations that could make the weapon great. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.